Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Tony here, our cabin of woods. Here's what we had done. We had fiber optic finally brought to the home. Uh, it's taken about a month. They finally did it. Everything went good except for one thing. And I just found this out yesterday when I went to turn the sprinklers on. I'll show you how they ran it. On the other side, track uh, the camper is a telephone pole so I had to move the truck the, the truck and the camper that comes straight on down and what was the goal was is to run it straight on through here dig under here and run it right up to that post of the house and then in the home he told me can't do it one the rocks in the way he has a big this big piece of equipment I have a retaining wall I don't know if you all seen that before some have he could run it down here but this big rock gets in the way and then this water drain that goes through here it's all concrete and then my retaining wall that's all in the way and then I told him somewhere about right there he'd have to stop using the machine because he'd have to dig it because all my sprinklers all my well watering everything is a big glob of piping underneath the ground here plus an electrical conduit that comes underneath here and goes under this concrete so he said, let's go another way. Let's go through the woods. <laughs> but you can see how they went across here. They come around this corner and now we're going for a walk. <laughs> but there's my line. He hit my sprinkler line. I'm going to have to dig this up. But he come through here all the way around. All the way up through all the way around this corner 650 feet just shy of 650 feet went around this way he did want to go down the center of this and I told him he can't because I have my water lines for my animals right there which come I told him it's right down the center, and if you want, you can move over. But what he did do is he went right along here. All right, next thing he did do, oh, spider web. There we go. He did cut through this way through the woods. One reason is, like I said, my plumbing come right here. All right, well, there's also plumbing piping that goes to this hydrant. All right here is a big cluster of pipes again that wise off sprinkler line also goes that direction so um, he ended up coming through this woods he hand dug this out to find the pipes they were down about a foot so he come through these woods here come around and went right over there to that, that gray box that gave us internet man it works really good um, I haven't put a video out to upload to see how quick that goes. Hopefully it's a lot faster. Um, but just, uh, I've got videos that I'm working on, but I've just been busy. But um, next thing you do is to get some little electrical devices I need for this camera. I've already got a microphone. I need to get another one more cable. And I'm supposed to be able to go ahead and get on the internet and do lives so uh, we'll have to we'll do tests and we'll see what happens but that's what they had to do to get me internet yeah instead of going straight down there they went all the way through like i said come right on through <laughs> that way hey i can't complain i'm not going to finally you know eight years i've worked without it but it was just getting bad where I needed to have it. Let me show you this real quick. Look at the cat. Climbing up the ladder. Happy, get down. There she goes. Going on the roof. <laughs> ah, now she'll be up there for a while. All right, guys, I got to fix this pipe. Yeah, there's the conduit the fiber optic is in, right under it, which is running this way. Here's my water line that's going this way. Um, trying to see 
I'm not sure. I think I can just good put this together, laying it on top of the uh, conduit. For a minute, I thought I was gonna have to put it under the conduit, but the angle on everything looks good. I think I can do that. So what I'm probably gonna do is go ahead and shovel out a little bit more of this, clear out some dirt, and uh, I'm gonna have to cut my pipe a little bit, clear up some areas, and then we're gonna put the splice together. I did have to go to town to get a splice, which is these right here. Now they offer these in plastic and they offer these in metal. Everywhere that I had to do a splice from when I was going downgrade from one pipe to another or the repair, I don't want plastic in here at all. I want a piece of metal. So I went in town, I got that, and uh, that's what we got. All right, I'm gonna go in down there now. I got styrofoam and a, uh, a towel thing on the ground because I'm kneeling on gravel. I'm gonna lay down and we're gonna go ahead and cut these fittings and see what I really need to do. I think I can make it work. I got my blowtorch over here to heat this up to make it easier to go on. There's no other damage nowhere else. I'm gonna slide on the clamp. Slide on another clamp on this side. All right, first thing, let me get these fittings together. Do not heat these up a whole bunch. You just want to barely get it hot so it slides on easy. And that should be it right there. All right, there we go. I'm going to put this clamp on first. Okay. We're clamped. Now, I'm going to get a glove because I think I'm going to heat this part of the pipe. Kind of make it bend a little bit. Enough to where it can go in here. Maybe heat both pipes up. Enough so I can bend them to force this to go together. All right. Gonna try to heat these up right here. Gonna heat down there and then heat here. And hopefully I can bend it all together. I hope. Yeah, look at that. Woohoo! All right, let's clamp this one. They both look good. All right, I'm going to go and 
take that one sprinkler head and uh, remove it so I can go ahead and turn this on so all that water will shoot straight out that pipe out that sprinkler head and clean out these pipes I'm pretty sure this one was cleaned out because I dumped it but this one had some stuff in it too so we need to get that out of there all right mentioned many times before in different videos this is my sprinkler I do it by manual this one each valve goes to a different section except for that last one the last one feeds my chicken coop in my garden but the one we need is this one right here so let's turn this on <coughs> I've already flushed that out it's all popped up it's all working sprinklers back here there's one over there there should be another one popped up right a center one right there it's up and I don't see no leaks so we're good all the pressures are looking really good yeah that one there may be plugged up I mean you take that one nozzle out that one looks like it's working good this one here tractor is getting nice and wet and that one over there it may be plugged up a little bit looks like a sprain half that's the one I was worried about being hit because he went right down my road one wheel and my lines ran in that same area so anyway everything's looking good I just need to mess with uh, taking that out and see if there's trash in it I bet there is but over there is looking great still no leaks I'm going to show you what came out of, the, out of the pipe down that end let me go over there we shut this off look at the gravel that's what was in the lines I, I just uncovered this it was all covered up with grass you can see I moved it but that's all gravel that had gotten in the line so that's why I'm glad I took this lid off and checked it and what I ought to do and just let's pull it and make sure there's nothing in it again right now let's see what we got here all right take that off then you unscrew this and there's a little filter in there filters clean so anything that was in that water line is not in this end here at all so we're good all that trash that's all gravel came through when I bled it out now all you do is just put it down anyway because this is a full circle screw it in there we're good all right well heck that's it you guys don't need me seeing me mess with these squirting heads there's one right down there need to get that one out so basically we're done fixing this thank God it was easy I'll probably go ahead and push down on the fiber optic and pack dirt around there pack dirt underneath the pipe and just uh, bring back the soil the way it was we'll be fine it's not a much of a bend on it at all heating those pipes up on each end will allow that to be more bendable to put it in because that is a stiff pipe and that is one inch looks good guys all right we're gonna go and yeah, I got the screen dirty all right we're gonna go and uh, thanks for watching it screens really dirty ain't it sorry about that and um, you'll have a great day stay cool today is going to be in the high 90 uh, high 80s yesterday was mid 80s tomorrow we cracked a 90 degree we start back up again so we're kind of enjoying this and um, alrighty guys see you later thanks again